The ARM challenge was to create a wearable technology that could easily address disaster warning and response or to promote water sanitation and hygiene. So a few weeks ago, we announced that teams were chosen by the judges to be finalists because their work was so outstanding. Uh, one, two, three. Hi, my name's Smitty and I'm from Long Island, New York. Hi, I'm Swadden and I'm from Maryland. Hi, I'm Medhi and I'm from Scotland. Hi, I'm Aditha and I'm from Macedonia. And we are Aqua Vitae. Well, it was Smithy who posted the idea. As soon as the challenges were released, I read a little bit more about nanotechnology's applications for things like clean water. And based on that, I posted a possible solution for people to join my team. This was a very long project. This was like a six month, I think almost nine months maybe even, project where it was continuous communication between all of us. Today, 783 million people lack access to safe drinking water, and each year, 6 to 8 million people die due to the consequences of not having access to, the, to clean water. So our main goal was to create a wearable filter that could purify water of any contaminants such as heavy metals, minerals, and any other biological contaminants. The Junior Academy paired us with the mentor. He did a lot for us. He went through each and every presentation, and somehow he was always in every video call that we played. Oh, yeah. It was no, so, he had he, video call. He didn't, it's like he didn't sleep because there, he was, did times, it, yeah. there, was, there was times when um, it would be like three o'clock in the morning there, and he'd literally be on the video call talking to us. So to achieve our engineering goals, we went through a methodology of creating our prototype. First, the water passes through a kitchen type strainer, and then we have the stainless steel wire mesh, which acts as a double filter. Um, and then this is like cotton cloth, it's canvas cotton, um, and it has a carbon nanotube ink embedded onto it. It's super conductive, so it can create this sort of electric field that like electrocutes basically any bacteria, and the electric field gets high enough that it can distort certain viruses. Then we have the activated uh, carbon. So what the activated carbon does, it's really helpful with filtering heavy metals from undrinkable water to make it drinkable. Then you put it in the bag, which th this is the actually the wearable part. Of course, you have to test to make sure that it works. So we have this PDS sensor, which is nicely Velcroed <laughs> to the bag. Did you wear it on the way here? Uh, yes. <laughs> People looked at me strange on the subway. Carrying around water filters. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, coliform bacteria, which is really dangerous to consume, from positive went to negative, which means that our filter is efficient. Bacteria disappeared after going through it. And then we like researched cultural things in developing countries, like when we talked with Mark Bender. He actually took the time out to answer any of our questions about how this filter could be sent out into the world and used successfully and help people like live better lives. And the winner, Dominic and I, are going to be able to give the prize to is Aquavita. Okay. Humans have discovered a lot, but still not the words that can describe this feeling. I'm proud that I prototype. It has potential. It can do something to change the world. Let's see what you got there. Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made some money. <laughs> we put in so much effort as a team, and now to see it finally like finally finished and come to fruition, uh, it, it's an awesome feeling. I feel powerful. And the winners were, were chosen because of really the, the thoroughness of their work, the market research on the scientific side, the whole design process they went through. Um, it was was quite exceptional.